Greetings all, it's me, Nurse Be Well, and I'm back to share some interesting facts about apples. That's right, the stuff applesauce is made from. Did you know that there are more than 2,500 varieties of apples grown in the U.S.? But only the crab apple is actually native to North America. Apple varieties range in size from a little bigger than the cherry to as large as a grapefruit. The largest apple ever picked weighed three pounds. But apples don't grow overnight. Trees take four to five years to produce their very first fruit. And apples are a member of the rose family, along with pears, peaches, plums, and cherries. So, the next time you wanna show someone you care, don't give them roses, give a dozen apples or pears. Now, the most popular varieties of apples in the U.S. are Red Delicious, Golden Delicious, and Granny Smith. But how are apples good for us? Well, firstly, they contain no fat, no sodium, or cholesterol, and they're a good source of fiber. So don't peel your apple, especially if it's organic, because two thirds of the fiber and many of the antioxidants are found in their skin. Apples are also high in potassium, a mineral that helps control blood pressure, which is really good news to hear, since Americans eat more than 19 pounds of apples each year. But trees can't grow apples all on their own. Bees pollinate the flowers that form the fruit. And that's how apples are grown. So, whether you love the sweet aroma in your noses, or you give them as gifts instead of roses, whether you love Granny Smith, red or golden, golden delicious, trust me, there is no need to be suspicious. Apples are good for you. Until next time, I'm Nurse Be Well saying, be healthy, be happy, be well. Bye.